Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate. Also, if you're interested in any of my other channels where I do um, music, relaxing music and videos, um, the Zone Out Lounge, there's a link down below, and then my Diamond Art. The link is down below, and then the Girls Facebook page. If you want to support my other channels, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so what you may be struggling with. Strength, Leo, Two of Wands, Ace of Cups. Clover with the Strength card. The Labyrinth with the Two of Wands and the Sith with the Ace of Cups. I feel like you're struggling with confidence today. I feel like you keep going back and forth with something that you want to do and you're struggling with your emotions, that you're in your head, you're very emotional, that you can't decide on something, that you can't, you can't, you can't seem to figure out which direction that you want to go in, that you want to start something, you want to, you want to take the actions to do something, but you can't figure it out exactly what you should do and you're struggling with your emotions that you're kind of, like I said, caught in your head and you're having a lack of confidence with something. You're not feeling strong. It could have to do with a Leo. Um, you're not feeling lucky. You're not feeling happy. You're not feeling like things are happening for you. You not feel like things are falling in your place. You're discouraged today. And it's almost like you're stuck in this and you you can't seem to get out of it. You just keep going back to it. Even I feel like you, you're kind of, you're trying to think about other things or you're trying to do something differently, but I feel like you keep going back to this. I feel like you keep refocus, you keep refocusing on, on this situation. All right, so what do you need to look at? King of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Peacefulness, the Lilies with the King of Pentacles. The home with the five of wands. This guy, this fox wants to come out. <laughs> the last video I just did, the fox came out and I think it was in the same position. Uh, I think it's the exact same thing. The fox came out. So what you need to look at is the king of pentacles is somebody who's very patient. He's determined. He takes his time to figure things out. He's strong, right? Because we have the the wolf there and then we have the stag here he's strong he's he's peaceful he's not um, he's someone who is stable and I feel like it's you getting into this calmness and this stability right we also have the five of wands with the hands there I feel like it's fighting for something fighting for that stability fighting to open this door to the home and your security right fighting for that and then we have don't be fooled by a false don't buy it be fooled by falsehoods but I also feel like it's don't get in that energy of saying that things aren't going to happen for you. I feel like what makes you calm, right? Because this energy is what you need to look at. What makes you feel calm? What makes you feel stay safe? What will get you into this energy? What is it that you need to do, right? Um, 
to get to fight in this calm energy what is it that you like to do for me I just started that diamond art right so it's just like okay I just want to block out the world and I just want to do my diamond art or I go to the barn I go to the barn and I'm like okay this is just one of those days where it's just I need to reset my emotions and my feelings this is one of these days where it's going to be a struggle and I need to find something to calm me down because I feel like you're in this energy where you're winding yourself up and you have to find those things. You have to use those tools. What makes you feel calm? Is it reading a book? Is it listening to a book? The audibles, I have those audible books and I love listening to Harry Potter at night. It helps me to fall asleep. Um, what are those things? Sit outside with a cup of tea and just enjoy outside. What are those things? I feel like that's what you need to look at. That's what will help to calm you down and that this is something that you're going to have to fight for. You're going to have to make the effort to do this, right? You're going to have to make the effort to get yourself into this energy. All right, and then we're going to look at energies coming in for you. A release of tension finally being able to let something go and hearing the message okay what's coming in for you is letting this go this spinning in your head I feel that it's something that's exhausting but I also feel like you're able to let it go and then with the death card, it's you're holding on to something that is stopping you from moving forward today. And what you're holding on to is this confusion, right? Is these emotions, is that you're too much in your head, that you're starting to give up. And so what you need to, you need to let go of that. You need to find peace. You need to find something that will change your mind, something that will um, flip the script, something that will give you a break from this energy here. Death card also represents transformation and we have judgment hearing the message, hearing that everything's going to be okay, that you'll get through this and to get yourself back on track. All right, so let's get a Lenormand for the Ten of Wands. This is a challenge, right? But I feel I was immediately drawn to the sun because this is the tower card here but it represents that challenge that you've gotten through this challenge and to give yourself a pat, pat on the back. Take a chance, right? Chance. And then, oh, it could be a person. <laughs> this could be a, a relationship or that you're struggling with and you're not really sure what to do and you have a lot of emotions about it. And it may be that you need to calm down and truly think about how you're feeling. Don't be fooled by false relationships or false intentions. This makes sense here. I almost feel like this fox makes more sense here when I see this man. And I feel like just be careful of people that are having a falsehood. That something seems too good to be true. I feel like just keep an eye out on that because this is this is what you need to look at so keep an eye out on something that maybe if it seems too good to be true maybe it is it could have to do with a Scorpio taking a chance on a relationship with a Scorpio but just make sure that it doesn't sound too good to be true but I also feel like it's it could be that spending some time with someone that is important and that has a good message for you right somebody that cares for you they have something to say to you um i also feel like this the dice is like taking a chance on just working on letting this go right and redirecting your energy and I feel like a new opportunity. I kind of feel like this goes over here and it's like an opportunity comes in for you for, could be a new relationship comes in for you. But I feel like it's finding something else that you love, finding something else that you enjoy, that maybe, I'm not sure what it is that you're struggling with here. Like I said, it could be a re uh, relationship. It could be that you are trying to achieve something, you were trying to do something, or you just woke up today and you are just struggling with things and you can't 
seem to stop thinking about it, that it's maybe a, something that's going on in your life that is stressful, but it's trying to find that calm and that peaceness, peacefulness, finding patience. But I also feel like it's taking a chance on refocusing your energy on something else that you love to do and that you love to enjoy. And that's what I was saying here is trying to figure that out. What do you like to do? Okay, so let me grab an animal oracle. Here are the messages of love. <laughs> that just came to me. <laughs> Act as if. So it's definitely... If you put yourself in the energy that everything's going to be okay, so act as if, act as if everything's okay, act as if you're going to work through this, even though inside you may be doubting it, right? Even though you may be like, I, instead of succumbing to the negative energy and the energy of loss and defeat, act as if, even if you're, even if you're doubting it, right? But to put yourself into that positive energy to manifest those things, those positive things to come in for you, right? Because if you act as if, okay, I'm going to succeed. I'm going to work through this. I'm going to be able to face this challenge and I'm going to be able to work through this. I'm going to start taking the steps that I need to. And if you put yourself in that energy, then that gives you that motivation and that gives you that power, right? To use the negativity, to, to use that anger, to use the sadness, the loneliness, the defeat, to use that as energy to push you forward, right? To drive you um, and act as if I'm going to get past this, even though I'm angry, even though I'm upset, even though I'm frustrated, I'm going to get past this. I'm going to fight through, right? I'm going to fight through and acting as if you're going to be okay and to use that to push you through until all of a sudden things start to change, right? And to use it as power to push you forward rather than roadblocks to push you back. I, don't, I hope that makes sense. Getting mad about it, right? Getting angry about it and saying, no, I'm not going to settle for this. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to put myself back into the negative energy. I'm not going to be depressed. I'm not going to be frustrated. I'm not going to be, you know, ha be in this defeatist mode. I'm not going to fall back into that because that doesn't get me anywhere. Then that ends up where, you know, I'm not getting anything done and I'm not doing anything and things become bigger and it's harder for me to pull myself up from that. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to fight for it. I'm going to change things up. I'm going to find a calmness, a peaceness. I'm going to find what can I do to get my mind off this for a little bit, bit and then I'll go back into it. We have hostilities. I just feel like there's a lot of anger. I feel like there's a lot of frustration. I mean, that's kind of what I was feeling before I even turned that over is to use those hostilities, to use that anger and frustration, right? And this five of wands with all of those to use that to motivate you not to block you all right and then let's grab one of these fork in the road there's a fork in the road today right there's a choice there's a challenge what do you do do you let it defeat you do you do you let this energy feed you do you let this drag you down do you let this overcome you Sometimes we do need those days just to be sad and just to wallow in our own misery, right? Sometimes we need that. But sometimes we have to realize, okay, i got to pull myself up from this. There's a fork in the road. There's a choice here on what it is that you want to do. There's a choice. There's a decision. Do you take a chance with this? Could be a new relationship coming in. Do you take a chance trying something different, right? I feel like life is about those challenges that we have and how do we help ourselves to move forward, right? We're our own cheerleader and we have to make those decisions that are best for us and we have to surround ourselves with those people that are supportive and we have to make those choices and those decisions that work for us, not against us. And sometimes we make those choices that work against us. But there's a fork in the road for here for you, for you to choose which direction do you want to go with this today. But that's up to you. Changing it up, right? Hearing the message that you're stronger than you think you are and that you can get past this and to believe yourself, right? Believe in yourself. 
All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.